Would you like to know why many employers, as well as myself, like to hire people with the CCIE certification, and yet it has absolutely nothing to do with being a Cisco certified internet expert? It's more about the characteristics of the people that actually pass the CCI exam. So, let me spend one minute on the CCI exam and then I'll talk about why I like to hire CCIs and why so many employers also do as well. So let me spend a minute on the CCI exam. It is incredibly challenging. I'll tell you that I think my MBA was easier than passing the CCI exam. So it's very hard to do. It requires discipline and a lot of focus to pass that exam. It takes a tremendous amount of initiative to, be, to do all the things it's willing to take to pass that exam. It means you have to be mentally tough and work when you are exhausted. And when you're studying and you have a headache, keep studying because you know you need to pass that exam. And it requires a commitment and a willingness to be your best. So because that exam itself is so hard, it tends to breed those skills and requires those attributes about the person. So now I'll talk about why I like to hire CCIE so much. So to pass that Cisco certified internet expert exam, you have to be thirsty for knowledge. You have to want it. You have to be willing to put in at least 2000 hours of study time, minimum. That's the equivalent of eight hours a day, five days per week for a year. So you have to be willing to fight for it. And that means you've got an incredible thirst for knowledge. And the knowledge that you need to obtain is relatively deep. So, it's not like a basic certification where they teach you just how to configure something. That's the easy part. In order to pass this exam, you need to understand technology, how the underlying technology works, its relationships between one another. So it forces you to get some good knowledge. But in order to get that good knowledge, what does this take? It means a focus and dedication on learning one thing, not uh, going zigzag in every different direction. And when it comes to hiring people, People with focus are very good employees as a general rule. They can focus on getting their work done. Now, when I talk about focus and discipline and willing to go deep, I'm talking about someone that's going to read 30 to 40,000 page books, countless internet engineering task force specifications, IEEE specifications, and an incredible amount of time. So that's that focus we're talking about. Now, the next is the challenging and the toughness aspect of it. More than 80% of the people that prepare for the exam fail it. And most people do not fail on their first time or necessarily even second time they don't typically pass. So they typically fail one to three times before they pass. So this shows a willingness to stay in the fight, get committed, and keep at it until you win. It also shows courage and motivation. Again, attributes that me and pretty much every other employee I've ever spoken to are actually looking for. So there's that. So it gives me some information about that toughness. When you're preparing for the CCI exam and you have a full-time job and you have a family on top of it and you're limited on sleep because that's the only time you can actually study, for example, because even your weekends are spent doing lab time, you can still go and keep your job, maintain your family, and still be successful. So there's that side of it, which means in the real world, if we've got a last minute deadline or a critical thing in business, you're not going to be the one that says, I'm tired, I have to go home. You're going to be the one that stuck it through. Again, that's another reason I love CCAs, because that's willingness and the toughness to keep at it. So again, there's that. Now, it also has to do with financial resources. Passing the exam isn't cheap. I mean, when I passed the CCI exam, there was no online training. So it was about $40,000 that I had to invest in myself to do it. Today, people can pass the exam with fifteen dollars to $20,000 if they're careful about their spending, which is great. But the fact that you have to be willing to pay to invest in yourself means you care about being the best and you're taking initiative for your success. That tells me a lot, which means when I put you in a role, if you need training, you'll come to me and ask for it and I'll happily pay for it as a general rule as an employer, assuming it's work related. But you also know if you want to do more and better yourself, 
you're willing to do it. You'll be the person that wants to get that MBA, for example, and maybe to enhance your business acumen, or you'll be that person that has the home lab that is really motivated and is extra cautious. You'll be that person that's going to be able to do all the research before we do a project because you're willing to do it and you care about success and people that care about success and are willing to fight for it and work for it tend to be more successful, which means not only do I hire you for a good role now, but maybe you become a future leader in my company. And that is, again, something that I'm actually looking for. So everything that I'm seeing is all about how it gets there. The discipline to do the same thing constantly, constantly, and constantly, as opposed to going to all these new exciting things that are there. I remember when I passed my CCI exam, IPsec, for example, was just becoming a standard and it was so interesting, but it wasn't on my CCI exam and I had to focus on just routing and switching. And then when I was done it, I could learn IPsec and voice and video, which were interesting to me. But uh, if I if I didn't have that focus in my career and a little, little voice and a little security and a little video, I never would have reached the depth that I needed to to have been successful. So that level of focus is there. And again, I see that level of focus as an employer. So now you know why I like to hire CCIEs. Now, also in most cases, CCIEs are actually competent in the role, but it's all the other attributes about the CCIE. If you're looking to become a cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect, AI architect, or any other architect, we've got free resources to, as well as training to assist you in your technology career. Check out the description of these videos for free eBooks and free webinars. Love to meet you on the webinar and there's so many things to help you with your career. So please go check them out. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, hit subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your technology career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you.